Hey guys, Mike Murtis, Gamer Logic here. First off, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, and this is kind of going to be a video with a little bit of everything. And obviously, you can tell by the title that this is another one of my video game music covers, but I wanted to do a little preface to this because this is kind of a special occasion, and uh, this particular music cover actually involves my dad. My dad helped with this project, which I'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. But my dad also can't join us for Christmas Day this year. He has uh, moved to Tennessee, better opportunities over there for him. And uh, I kind of wanted to do this video for him and uh, take him down for a walk down memory lane as kind of a uh, remote Christmas gift. So Merry Christmas, Dad. I'm sorry you can't join us this year. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to come down and see you this year. But uh, hopefully next year, one way or another, we'll get a chance to see you. And hopefully you enjoy this video and uh, the result of uh, what we made together. So. Uh, yeah, you know, my dad has always been a huge supporter of my, uh, pretty much anything I've really done. I mean, not just uh, video game stuff, but music, my job, whatever. My, my dad's always been a huge supporter of mine and, and the rest of the family. And uh, as early as I can remember, we had a video game system because my dad loved video games too. Um, the, one of the first video game systems we had was in television. And when I was born and when I can actually think as far back as I can to what video game system systems did we have? I remember the Intellivision, and after that I remember the Commodore 64. And I can remember my dad very early on, as well as taking a liking to video games, uh, taking a liking to certain video game music tracks. Um, Commodore 64 especially had some really, really cool tunes with its SID chip, and I remember him really enjoying the music to that. Um, you know, my dad wrote down a list of commands on the Commodore 64 for me so I could load games myself because I was always asking him, you know, Dad, can you load this game for me? Can you load this game for me? And finally he thought, you know, let, let's see if this you know, little kid at like two, three, four years old can load his own commands into a keyboard and get these games working. And he gave me the base commands, you know, and here I can barely read anyway, but all of this made sense because I just matched the letters to the keys, right? So he would write them out and I would uh, figure out a way to match the games with the loading list and all the commands and eventually at like three four years old I was able to load my own Commodore 64 games without the help of my dad but that was through the support of him showing me how to do that and God knows he probably really early on planted the seeds for me really enjoying technology as much as I do and working in the IT industry and just being involved with computers and stuff uh, really that kind of just planted the seed for that you know so uh, moving on along the years uh, one memory I wanted to talk about in particular is uh, when I had this game back in the 90s and this is Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse which has got a phenomenal sound soundtrack Marcus is watching this video and he's got a shot right next to it and it goes oh Mike is talking about Castlevania music so I'm gonna take a shot that's a stream joke and a fellow Facebook friend joke but uh, so yeah Castlevania 3 really really amazing music and I remember being downstairs uh, and playing it and down the, the other side of the basement was my dad's music studio and he was working on some music and playing along. And we got to the later part in the game where you're climbing up the tower to get to Dracula, to get closer to Dracula. And a particular track was playing and that was Demon Seed on Castlevania 3. It's got just this really, really thumping beep to it. It's got this really nice plodding bass line to it, you know, dun 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 bum 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 It's just got this really cool feel to the track. And uh, my dad stopped playing his guitar and he came over and he was like, what is that track? Like, can you play that? Can you just play that without any of the sound effects? And we were all like, oh yeah, so um, I died and I, I copied down the password so I could come back to it and I knew the cheat code to do the uh, the sound test option because I think that was in an issue of Nintendo Power or something and uh, I put it on Demon Seed and started playing it and uh, he was listening to it, listening to it, listening to it and he grabbed his guitar and he starts jamming along with it. He starts adding these just really cool sustained guitar riffs with it. You know, just really cool to the track. And I 
I was just totally blown away because that was really cool seeing the 8-bit sound kind of meeting kind of crashing into like a modern guitar sound. It sounded so cool and I think he recorded it. I, I don't remember but uh, there was just a really cool memory that I had with my dad uh, liking video game music and taking his own twist on it and putting it on there. And I guess that kind of leads us to, to where we're at right now. Um, obviously I do video game music covers. I do regular music as well and I do regular music covers. Uh, it's kind of a side career I've had for years as my Unlimited Logic alias. And uh, this particular track I worked on a couple months ago and didn't get a chance to finish it, and now that things are kind of quieting down for the, for the holidays in a sense, at least from work, um, I finally had a chance to sit down and finish it. And that is Whirlwind from Shinobi 3. It's a great track in the game. I love that entire soundtrack, but I kind of wanted to take Whirlwind and add my own twist to it. Um, so I did so, and I was like, man, you know what this is missing? This is missing my dad's signature guitar marks on it. So um, I called him on the phone. He was in Tennessee already at this point, and I said, hey, I got this track I want you to check out. Uh, it's from a video game. I'm kind of doing a cover of it. Can you just, just do what you do and add some guitar riffs to it? So he did. And, uh, you know, he was kind of wondering what was going on with it, if I was still going to use it. And uh, I told him I was, unfortunately. I just got so busy I never had a chance to do the track and finish it. Uh, so I'm happy to say that it's pretty much finished. It's pretty much done. I'm sure there's things I'll come back to and a little bit more mastering and tweaking and stuff that I want to want to do to it. But it's in a listen listenable format now. And uh, I really want you guys to hear it. Uh, I guess it's kind of a Christmas present to you. It's kind of a Christmas present to my dad. And uh, yeah, so here we go. This is my take as well as my father's take on what you would hear if we had control of the soundtrack in Shinobi 3 on this particular stage. I'm going to play it just like you would see it in the game. And there you go. So if you guys enjoy it, let me know. And Dad, I hope you have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. And guys, if you want this on SoundCloud so you can download the version, let me know and I will add it on there. Sorry for the long-winded introduction to this track, but uh, I had some stuff to say. So enjoy, guys.